Hi, this is Frank Brightson at the Blue Runner Creole Kitchen. And today I want to share with you one of the best recipes in Louisiana, bread pudding. This is my favorite kind of recipe because good cooks hate waste. And when you eat French bread with your red beans and rice, French bread with every meal, you're going to have leftovers. At my house, we always had a half a loaf of French bread on top of the refrigerator going stale. Sunday nights was bread pudding night. Mom would make bread pudding. So here we have some stale French bread, and you can use other kinds of bread. Uh, what you're really looking for is something that's crusty and stale. The stale of the better, because that's going to give you texture in your bread pudding. Bread pudding is stale bread cooked in a custard, eggs and milk. So we're going to start with some eggs. I have three whole eggs. And I'm going to whisk the eggs very frothy to incorporate some air into the bread pudding. Whisk until you see bubbles. Now, traditionally, we're going to add cinnamon and nutmeg. Just a little pinch of nutmeg. That's a very strong spice, so don't overdo it. I'm going to add a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And I'm going to whisk those spices so that they begin to open up and develop their aroma. And then we're going to add a little sweetener. We're going to add granulated white sugar for sweetness. And then a little bit of light brown sugar for depth of flavor. A little splash of vanilla extract. And then the milk. So we have three eggs and a cup and a half of milk. And that's the general formula for custards. Two eggs per one cup of liquid. So now I'm going to add some raisins. I like to use golden raisins. Uh, brown raisins are good, but the golden raisins have a bright fruity flavor. I like that. And that's our custard. We're going to add this to our stale French bread. And we're going to mix that so the stale bread absorbs some of the custard. And of course, this is a very basic, fundamental bread pudding recipe, very classic and traditional. You can use your imagination. You could add other dried fruits. You could add chocolate. You could add nuts slice bananas, coconut, whatever you like. Once the bread has absorbed the custard, which it almost has, I'm going to pour it into a shallow baking dish, like so. I have the oven preheated to 350 degrees, and this is going to bake uncovered for about one hour until it's nice and crusty on top. Because this is a custard, we want to cook this in a water bath so that the eggs don't scramble and curdle. So I have a larger pan with just a little bit of water, about a half an inch of water. And that little bit of water protects the eggs from too much heat. That'll keep the eggs from scrambling. So you get a nice, light, fluffy custard that won't stick to the bottom of the pan, and the pan will be a lot easier to clean. So this bakes for one hour at 350. Okay, our bread pudding has been in the oven, baking, uncovered, for about an hour at 350 degrees. Let's see what we have. Oh, yeah. That looks good. If you look in the middle, the custard is fully cooked. It's nice and crunchy and crispy on top. We got a beautiful bread pudding here. Nice and moist, crunchy. That looks beautiful. Oh yeah, that's a nice, light, crispy bread pudding. All you need is a spoon. Thank you for joining us in the Blue Runner Creole Kitchen. <laughs>